Hi everyone, it's Nicole from Plans of Blossom. Um, I'm here today because I wanted to go through some of the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen nib sizes. A lot of people are very familiar with the straight writing set and then the brush, but there are actually 11 different sizes. And I kind of wanted to walk you through them today so you can see how they work and see where they can be applied. I'm starting with the extra super fine until it's a very small point. I like to use it for writing and details. It's really great for pretty much everything. It's got a really nice quality if you wanted to write in cursive too. It's just, they're so versatile. Then next, I have the Super Fine, which is my favorite pen. I use it for everything. Um, you can see here, it's a little bigger. I love it for drawing and writing. This is the main pen that I use in my bullet journal. Um, it's very versatile across the board. I even have one in my purse, and that's the pen that I use all the time. Just for on the go, I use it in birthday cards, I use it to write my checks, everything you can think of. Next is, the one step up is fine. And this I really like to use when I'm making headers and when I'm doing basically any titles. It's a little stronger than the super fine, which I really like. So it's, it's similar, but different enough, if that makes any sense. I, I really enjoy using the two of them together. And then next up, we have the medium. It's the bigger one of the four. This is another one that I like to use for headers as well. It's great for writing, great for drawing, great for any line work, really. And if you are an illustrator, it's great to get different values in your shading if you're into stippling or cross-hatching. That's excellent. The most popular of the Pit Artist pens would probably be the next one, which is the brush. These come in so many colors. It, it's a really great pen. It's stiff without being too flimsy, which is something that I need for brush lettering because I would consider myself to be a novice brush letterer. So I like something with a little more control. You can see I'll make this a little bigger. It's really easy to maneuver and manipulate. It's one of my favorites and the colors that they come in are just amazing. You can tell just by applying more pressure how you can get different values. And if I'm just a little gentle, I can get really small as well. This is probably the reason this is their most popular pen. The next one is the soft brush, which I would liken to a paintbrush. Um, it's so, it's very artistic. It's very incredible if you want to use it for sketching or drawing or even just inking any of your projects because if you can tell it looks just like the brush but it's actually very soft and you can see the differences how you can get very thick and very thin and it has a lot of flexibility so if you're trying to shade something or trying to give something hair it's really really great it gives that painterly look the next one is the calligraphy pen, which is a lot of fun. I'm currently learning how to do calligraphy, so bear with me. But I do like using this for drawing because it's very, very steady. I feel like I can get two different value lines without any problems. So you can see if you go up, it's skinny, and if you push it down, it's wider which is really, really great, and that's the look that you would like for the calligraphy. But it's definitely so much fun, and I really do like this as opposed to the fountain calligraphy pens like this, just because it seems to be evenly spread with the ink across the board. 
And if you want something for calligraphy or even for any sort of drawing, you can go with the soft chisel, which it looks like it would be a calligraphy pen. It's on a bit of an angle, but it's, it's really amazing for sketching and illustrating. And it's the same thing as the soft brush. It's very flexible. So you can go up at this value, but if you press harder, you can see that it gets thicker. And it's the same thing. And one thing I do have to say, I don't know if you can see that here, the India ink used in these pens is phenomenal. It almost gives like a watercolor, but like maybe a gauche even. It's just so incredible. The next we have is another favorite of mine. It's the 1.5 bullet nim. This one's great. I like to write in cursive with this, so it's a little thicker if I'm putting a really thick header and I don't feel like widening my lines, I can just grab this, which is great. You can see that, it gives you a lot of control. It's fantastic. And the next one is a bunch of fun. It's the big guy, it's a big brush. These come in a bunch of colors as well, this is the black one. And just like the small brush, you can really get different thicknesses depending on the angle at which you hold it and the pressure that you use and the ink is super rich and it doesn't bleed it's just i can't say enough about these pens myself i'm just a big fan then there's actually one more which is a newer one and a lot of people don't know about it yet so i wanted to do something special for this on black paper this is the big bullet. I happen to have a black notebook, so I can show you how wonderful this is. I can't tell you how fun it is as an illustrator myself just to have a different way of drawing or a different way of writing. It really makes the color pop and it's so much different than using a gel pen. It's like you have control. It's just using a marker on paper, but it's in reverse. It's really amazing and you get a lot of different values. So if you want it to be a little see-through, you can just kind of go over it once. If you want it to be completely covered, you can go over it twice. The coverage is really impressive. I mean, all of us know out there that white ink is very tricky, but I'm, I'm a big fan of this as well. So that is all 11 nibs, but you didn't know that there were this many. To read through if you have any questions, reach out to Faber Castell USA or me, Nicole, at Plants That Blossom. Thank you.